Good morning, church. Welcome to Tuesday. Hope you're having a great day already. You know, I want to talk about how we try and put on a, a, a face, a mask, if you will. Not the COVID mask we've been wearing for a year, but a mask of, of deception. We present what we want to present, not just to people, but to God. I think it's very interesting that we try and conceal anything from God and not necessarily from like a, a standpoint of like a kid trying to cover up breaking the window from their parent, you know, but just trying to, I don't know, make ourselves look better than we are because maybe well, we're ashamed. You know, in the Presbyterian church, we have a long tradition of uh, in the course of our corporate corporate worship, uh, having a prayer of confession where we confess our, our sinfulness every week. Uh, we confess, uh, we, we pray a prayer of confession together to kind of uh, confess the sins of just us as a, as, as a human species, us as a group, as a congregation. Um, and then we have a time, usually in most Presbyterian churches, a time for silent prayer where we just, each of us individually, just uh, give to God, hey, here's the stuff that like I've been doing and whatnot. And... I I really think that a lot of times we're not super honest with that, or we try and maybe make this, package the sin in a way that um, maybe doesn't look quite as bad. Oh, Lord, forgive me for the sins I have treated others improperly. Thank you, God. Amen. You know, like that that kind of language kind of makes it seem I don't know more acceptable and not really truthful at all. See, when we give to God, we don't just give the best of us, right? You know, in the Old Testament, there's a lot of language of, you know, okay, when you give your, your offering, your sacrifice, give of the first of your harvest, that's the best stuff, you know? God doesn't want just the best stuff. God doesn't want just our best efforts stuff. God wants us to give to God all the bad things we've been to and to. All those bad things that we've been up to. And honestly confess them and say, God, man, this is what I've been doing, and it's 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 no good. And I'm sorry. Sometimes it's not just sin; it's just a way of being that you don't like, a way that you haven't really been living up to what you know you can, or just living in a way that you don't that you just uh, that's not working for you, and that you know really isn't what God wants you to do either. We give to God the good, the bad, and the ugly, because that's what God wants from us. Don't try and gussy up what we've got going on. Give to God honestly. Because that is what, well, it's not just what God wants, but it's the only thing that improves our spiritual life and improves our life with God. So let us pray, and we're going to have a minute of silence, and you give to God the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's pray. Gracious God, we give to you all that we are the best of us that you can take it and, and use it for in, in the service of your mission. And give you the worst of what we are so that we can truly know that we can be truthful and open and honest with you and knowing that you could take that and, and forgive it and make us so much better. You can give us the, the grace not to do it anymore. Instead, to do the wonderful things that Christ gave us the example to do and, and moves us to do. We confess these things in silence to you now. We pray all of this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you've been honest with that. And if you haven't, well, guess what? You got a lot of practice. You got a lot of time to practice to work on that. Let's be honest with God. Take some time to pray today. It doesn't have to be sitting down, stopping and closing your eyes. It can be with your eyes open, doing whatever you're doing. Turn your thoughts to God and just have a conversation with God. Give you thanks, confess, and pray for whatever's on your heart. Have a wonderful day. Make sure to take care of one another while you're out there, and I'll see you tomorrow.